Hello guys and welcome back to the Seasons Park Winter Area or the Winter Wonderland how I call the videos at the moment. Uh, I hope you're all doing okay today and um, yeah I thought we should begin this episode with a kind of uh, slightly different beginning. Um, we are not speeded up now uh, yet in the video. Um, I'm going slowly. This is also why the frame rate is struggling a lot so uh, please forgive me um, uh, that because I can't handle it and so um, I also cut a few um, yeah, a few minor uh, parts of the video out, so it wasn't too bad. Uh, but yeah, so we're going down the slope um, from the bobsled, and yeah, um, many of you might already have seen the the, uh, the pictures of it on um, Twitter, on Reddit, or somewhere else in the forums. I don't know. Um, but yeah, this is how the entire bobsled looked. Um, I did it off screen because um, I started to record it, but it really, really, really was a hard thing to do. Um, and for some reason, I felt that I could do it better when I'm not, yeah, just when I'm not recording. So um, this is why I decided to um, stop the recording within um, the bobsled action and then I'm just going to continue with my videos here. Uh, and for uh, some other reasons, it's also pretty good because um, I'm running out of time uh, regarding my Thailand uh, holidays and um, in terms of uh, the alpha, uh, sorry, no, the beta, which is um, coming out on November the 9th. And um, yeah, so I wanted to bring this park to an end. Uh, and this is why I decided to go in with a slightly different approach now. And uh, so you will see the next videos uh, in a kind of, well, normal time-lapse video uh, as I've uh, done it most of the times for the Seasons Park. Um, but I really try to focus on the main things and uh, please don't expect too many crazy things from me now. Um, I will be doing something special for the uh, spring area, which I can't tell because it's finished, um, but also nothing too special, so please forgive me that. Um, and I don't see any reason to um, kind of, yeah, just stop the Seasons Park and bring it to an end later on, because I'm pretty sure I won't, uh, since there is uh, the full game release when I'm back from my Thailand holidays, and I'm pretty sure that uh, yeah within the next few months i won't be finding any time to go back to this alpha 3 park which will be having many problems i guess and uh, yeah so there is no reason for me to kind of bring this park uh, to an end in really detailed way to, to take some time to do it so this is why i decided to bring it to an end with the possible uh, sorry with the um yeah, with, with kind of the solutions I'm looking for within the uh, kind of short time, which is uh, still available for me until I'm leaving for Thailand. So yeah, this is what I'm basically wanted to say um, about the the seasons park in general. But we are still in winter area, so the next project, which you might see here uh, already, see what it will be in the end. Um, I'm really a big fan of. Uh, the, the ski, ski jumping is it in English the same I think also it's ski jumping um, it's not that I'm really into the sports but the the thing is um, when I was 12 I guess um, we first went on uh, into our first winter holidays and um, from this day on I tried to go every year uh, every year for ski uh, for skiing and um, as we are going to a very famous uh, skiing location, there is always um, like the the big ski jumping uh, event, and so uh, many times we've also been there to watch them jumping down the hill. And I must say, all the people doing this are kind of crazy, but anyway, it's really really a cool thing to watch, and um, really, yeah, I'm re I really do have a lot of respect for people who are going down the slope and uh, just jumping into the mountain because. If one of you have, um, yeah, if you do have just uh, tried to ski on your own and uh, just have some some smaller jumps, you might have uh, noticed that it is really, really kind of an impressive feeling just to jump over two or three or five meters. That's basically what I've done so far. So um, this is a really crazy feeling and you've got a lot of air time to be honest it feels like everything is kind of slowed down and yeah and then you have to imagine that they kind of jump 
over like 120 meters on the normal uh, ski jumping uh, things and over like 200 meters at 250 meters I guess that's the record now uh, on the bigger ones and this is so amazing so yeah long story short I just want to bring in such a ski jumping thing into my park and um, the, the jumping hill uh, and I think it worked out pretty well um, as I've said in the last video of course uh, sand isn't working that well but um, yeah, maybe if I would have had that much time, I might have done the whole hill with uh, wooden planks to let it really assemble um, really wide and really, yeah, like snow. But in a way, um, I think uh, snow does do the job as well. So I'm pretty happy with that. Um, yeah, so everything else now about this area is just um, finishing it up with, um, yeah, just like a little bit of foliage, a little bit of... Um, extra stones with snow and uh, yeah one special thing I, for <laughs> I forgot the entrance um, queue of the um, of the little Venetian carousel and the, yeah you will see me now failing a lot with uh, the approach to bring the, uh, the queue to to a final status but yeah in a way uh, in the end I, I got it um, it's really now not not planned it's really like uh -oh grown organically in, into this area and um, in the end it looked pretty good to be honest um, I, I'm kind of happy with how the queue turned out um, but I simply forgot it in the first go so um, this is why it kind of looks a little bit outplaced there but uh, yeah anyway um, as I've said I wanted to bring it to an end some at some point and so this is why I didn't spend too much time now into um, making this one final and also this one um, the little wall there was floating a little bit in the air and what I did is just I just put in some smaller stones beneath it just uh, below it uh, just to make sure that it kind of looks good uh, and yeah this is now um, the uh, the jumping how is it called uh, actually before I went into this commentary I just wrote down the uh, the name for it but I just forgot where I put the, the fucking sheet of paper sorry for that um, but I guess it's just something like a she, she jumping hill kind of I don't know uh, but yeah this thing is um, pretty simple uh, I didn't put too much effort in it uh, although I wanted to make it look good and I think it's it's kind of a mixture out of uh, an old-fashioned one and a modern one uh, I tried a little bit around with um, pieces we are given at the moment and I'm pretty happy how it how it turned out and um, yeah so basically this is what I wanted to do with the area and um, I, I'm not quite sure if the next episode does also have uh, some winter footage uh, again or if we are just jumping into spring I'm not sure about that uh, but anyway that's it for this episode with my commentary you got a few seconds left uh, with uh, the time lapse now and I hope you enjoyed it and um, because it worked pretty well in the last episode I really want to ask you again please let me know what do you think of this area what do you think of my videos uh, and just give me some feedbacks in the comments I'm really appreciating it and uh, yeah I hope you had a nice day and wish you uh, a nice rest of the day <laughs> so yeah have a nice day and uh, hear you in the next episode bye <laughs>